Sometimes weightlifting shoes fall apart. Not all of them are very good. Some of them are worse than others, all right? If you've spent $150, $200 on a pair of weightlifting shoes and this has happened, you can extend the life of these shoes if you know how to glue the sole back on. And this is how it's done. Contact cement, plain old yellow contact cement, available all over the world, everywhere. And it works perfectly if you know how to use it. And I'm gonna show you what to do. First, you have to manage to get the lid off and then the stuff has got a fabulous MEK smell you'll want to be careful with because it's uh, potentially uh, needs ventilation for some purpose. You know, depending on where you are, if there's not moving air. Now, contact cement works quite well if you use it correctly. I'm going to start with this side because it gives me more room to work. Contact cement works by being applied to both surfaces you want to glue together. You smear the stuff on, and I'm just going to use my hands because it just goes a lot faster for purposes of this video. You may not want to use your hands. You may want to get a brush or some other tool. I'm just going to let this, I'm going to apply the contact cement to both surfaces I'm trying to glue together. Okay. I'm going to completely cover both surfaces and I'm going to hold them apart while they dry. The idea here is that the surfaces must dry before they're put together. Now, the length of time that we're going to let these things dry is going to be about 15 or 20 minutes. And if you have problems with contact cement, it is probably because you didn't wait long enough. Now, you can let this stuff dry actually overnight if you want to. But don't try to stick the surfaces together until the contact cement is dried. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let these sit here a minute and dry. And then we're going to come back in a second and finish this job. All right, I've already put the tools up. We're here with our repair job ready to ready to demonstrate the effectiveness of this. Now look, all these surfaces are dry and all I'm gonna do is take real good care to make good hard contact between the two glued surfaces. And what you'll see is, is if you've let these surfaces dry long enough that you've got a good tight repair, okay? These things were assembled this way from the factory. This is the same material they used to glue these soles on the first time. So you're putting them back together the way they were originally assembled. All right. The, this glue joint will obviously wear and come apart over time, but in order for you to extend the life of the original glue job on the shoe, this is how you repair it. And it works very, very well, and it's very simple. Hope this helps.